Number 7. Poisoning in Japan In 2015, a case of poisoning made news across Japan. Five men in their 40s and 50s were sent to the hospital after eating the deadly pufferfish. According to news reports, the men were having dinner in the city of Wakayama and asked the chef to cook them the fish's liver. This body part is banned in the country because of its high toxicity. The next morning, they started vomiting and suffering from breathing difficulties. Fortunately, no fatalities were reported. The restaurant was closed for several days while an investigation was launched. It's still unclear what species of pufferfish the men had consumed. Figures from the Japanese government indicate that eating the national delicacy results in 30 to 50 cases of hospitalization every year, some of which result in death. The Tetradontidae family contains over 200 species of fish, commonly known as pufferfish. Their name is derived from a rather unique brand of defensive behavior. When feeling threatened, this creature will fill its stomach, which is extremely elastic, with water or air. It thus becomes much larger in size and almost spherical in shape. Additionally, all species are covered in spines that prick up as they become inflated. Predators targeting the fish are therefore faced with a spiky ball rather than easy prey. Worse still, they might swallow the puffer fish right as it starts to inflate and die from choking. This defensive mechanism compensates for the puffer fish's locomotion. Although highly maneuverable as it moves by a combination of pectoral, dorsal, anal and caudal fins, this creature is very slow. Even if a predator does get past its defenses, the puffer fish is still a potentially lethal choice of prey. That's because its body contains a potent neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin. Number 6. Strange Dolphin Behavior Not all creatures are deterred by the deadly puffer fish. While most predators will readily spit them out, dolphins have been observed purposefully using the fish to get intoxicated. It's actually believed to give them a trance-like state. This behavior was captured by a BBC documentary entitled Dolphin Spy in the Pod. The cetaceans will gently chew on a puffer fish which is passed around between them. Afterwards, the dolphins are reported exhibiting strange behavior. They'll hang around with their noses at the surface or become mesmerized by their own reflection. It seems that the dolphins know how much contact with the fish is needed to get the desired effect from the toxins it releases. Still, it's a dangerous activity since pufferfish toxin is incredibly deadly to most species that tamper with it. The greatest abundance and diversity of pufferfish is found in the tropics. It's absent in cold waters and rather uncommon in temperate regions. Even though the fish mostly inhabits brackish marine environments, there are a number of species that spend their entire life cycles in freshwater systems. They can be found in Africa, Southeast Asia and South America. Pufferfish mainly feed on algae and small invertebrates. Even though they prefer an omnivorous diet, these creatures can survive as vegetarians if an environment is lacking in resources. Pufferfish are sometimes compared to the terrestrial chameleon. They have excellent eyesight and can move their eyes independently. They can also change their color and the intensity of their patterns in response to environmental changes. Number 5. Kai Plumley Most cases of humans being hurt by the pufferfish have to do with intoxication, but this one is rather different. In 2014, Kai Plumley and his parents were swimming off of Olawu Beach in Maui. At some point during the day out, a 16-inch grey pufferfish sunk its teeth into four-year-old Kai's leg. The child started screaming in pain, so his father Josh rushed to his aid. The man struck the fish a few times, but the creature's hold was still strong. He was forced to grab the pufferfish by the face and mouth so that he could rip it off his son's leg. As Kai and his father were returning to shore, the pufferfish went straight for the surfboard that the boy's mother was resting on. It started biting at the board, but the woman wasn't hurt. Neither was Kai in the end, as he'd only sustained a shallow wound on his leg. The attack baffled experts, 
since the species identified as a striped belly pufferfish is never known to be aggressive. Number 4. Cambodian Teen Attack It's definitely rare for pufferfish to go after humans, especially with such brutality as in this next case. The incident involved a Cambodian teen and an enraged fish. The creature had accidentally got caught in the unnamed 13-year-old's fishing net. Upon being freed, the pufferfish bit him directly in the groin. A Cambodian news outlet ran a photo of the teen lying on a hospital bed with heavy strapping around his scrotum. The caption read that he was lucky to be alive. Judging by the extent of the damage, doctors believed that the teen from a commune outside Phnom Penh would make a full recovery. It isn't known what pufferfish species attacked him. Interestingly enough, the Mekong River Basin is home to Pau Turgidus, a dangerous freshwater pufferfish. Poisonings from this species are common in Cambodia and sometimes result in death. Its principal toxin, which mainly accumulates in the skin, is called saxitoxin. It's mainly acquired through food and different from tetrodotoxin, found in marine species, which is toxic to the Mekong fish. By far, the scariest aspect about pufferfish is their incredibly potent tetrodotoxin. It's mainly found in the fish's liver and ovaries, with a smaller amount in the skin and intestines, as well as traces in the muscles. It's not actually produced by the pufferfish, but from bacteria that live in its body, often in a symbiotic relationship. Tetrodotoxin is one of the deadliest compounds found in the animal kingdom, and it's about 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide. A single pufferfish may contain enough of it to kill over 30 adult humans. The neurotoxin is known for blocking sodium channels in nerve cells. It basically prevents the nervous system from sending messages that result in muscle contraction. Since it's considered a delicacy, the most common way that people become intoxicated is by ingesting pufferfish meat. Poisoning symptoms will typically occur within 30 minutes. They may involve tingling in the lips and tongue, followed by nausea, headaches and vomiting. Respiratory distress may occur and paralysis gradually sets in. Although completely immobile, the victim may be entirely lucid right up until their final moments. The toxin ultimately paralyzes the diaphragm, which causes death by respiratory failure. Today's topic was requested by Instagram follower at corona underscore virus long. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Number three, dangerous delicacy. Even though it's highly toxic, pufferfish meat is considered a delicacy in Japan, Korea and China. In Japan, the dish is called fugu and it can be served as sashimi or chiri, a type of pufferfish soup. Fugu is among the most notorious and celebrated dishes in Japanese culture. Restaurant preparation of the fish is strictly regulated in the country. Serving the liver of the pufferfish, which is the most toxic part, has been banned in Japan since 1984. Chefs train for up to three years before they're allowed to prepare fugu. Selection is rigorous and only about a third of all applicants end up passing the licensing examination process. By the end of their training, the chefs know which part of the fish is safe and in which quantity. Even the knife used for cutting the fish is stored separately from other kitchen utensils to minimize the risk of contamination. The poison of the puffer fish is actually a major part of its appeal. Skilled chefs leave just the right amount to produce a tingling in the lips and a light-headed sensation without endangering the consumer's life. Still, it's a dangerous delicacy and ordering it has been compared to playing the restaurant version of Russian Roulette. Number 2. Sousa Family While most people who consume pufferfish are aware of the risks, that wasn't the case for the Sousa family from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In October of 2014, they'd received the fish as a gift from friends who'd been on a fishing expedition. None of them knew of the dangers associated with eating it. The cooked fish looked very appealing, so the whole family was called over to enjoy it together. 
The meal turned into a living nightmare for 11 family members. Shortly after taking the first bites, 41-year-old Jose Augusto Souza could no longer feel his tongue and then his face. As the poison took hold, he could no longer get up from his seat. Many of the victims, including children aged 3 to 5, became paralyzed before they could even reach a vehicle and be taken to the hospital. Three family members experienced severe symptoms such as respiratory failure and cardiac arrest. After a grueling few days, everybody recovered from what had been a very close call. The safest course of action is to avoid eating the fish entirely. Yet, if culinary curiosity prevails, you shouldn't prepare it at home in lack of proper training. Tetrodotoxin has no antidote, so treatment is mainly supportive. This involves the immediate management of airways and feeding the victim activated charcoal to bind the toxin. Intravenous fluids are administered to combat hypertension, while alpha-adrenic agonists are recommended for the stimulation of nerve receptors. Standard life support measures are applied until the poison's effects wear off. Yet even if they survive the first 24 hours, patients might spend several days in the coma. Before we move on, official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. It's out of this world. Number 1. Florida Man Incident One Florida man learned that mixing cocaine and tetrodotoxin is a recipe for disaster. The unnamed man and his grandmother both ate pufferfish liver, presumably unaware of its potentially lethal effects. The woman felt ill but eventually made a full recovery. Her nephew, on the other hand, had reportedly gone on a cocaine bender three days prior to eating the fish. The added tetrodotoxin pushed his organs over the limit. Several hours after eating the fish, he struggled to walk and even speak. He couldn't stop vomiting and was suffering from stomach pain. The man arrived at Aventura Hospital and Medical Center with extremely high blood pressure, which doctors initially believed had been a consequence of the drugs. As the toxin gripped his body, the man's kidney failed and never recovered. He would regain his muscle strength and his confusion cleared up but would have to spend the rest of his life on dialysis. Thanks for watching. Would you rather suffer from tetrodotoxin poisoning or be locked in a room with a swarm of Asian giant hornets? Let us know in the comments section below.